So in this uh, class, we will define what is meant by order of a group. So it is very simple. You take uh, G star to be a group. Then I will count the number of elements in the group. So the number of elements in the group is nothing but the order of group. So if the order, if the number of elements are finite, then the group is called a finite group. And if the elements in the group are infinite, then the elements are called, then the group is called infinite group. So we now have some groups with us and we will now write down whether they are finite or infinite. And what will be the order of that denoted by? Suppose you have number of elements is n, then I will denote the order of group by this notation O of G, which order of G is equal to n. So suppose I take a group, the simplest group I know is say integers with respect to addition. Then I know real numbers with respect to addition, comp uh, rational numbers, complex numbers. Then we have real numbers with non-zero elements with respect to multiplication. Q star with respect to multiplication, C star with respect to multiplication, and then you also have Q root 2. You know what is Q root 2? In last lecture, we have done Q root 2 star with respect to multiplication. All these groups have infinite number of elements. So, order of all these groups is what? It is infinity. So, I will write order of G is equal to what? order of g is infinite so these are all infinite groups and what are the examples of finite group now we know that z5 has only how much elements z5 has only five elements with respect to addition modulo 5 or z6 or let me say z7 star we know it, it must be prime right zp star this is also group and this has how many elements z z7 star does not have seven elements because zero is not there. So Z7 star will have how many elements? Six elements. So in general, I'm trying to tell you that order of Zn, the group, the order of Zn, with res the first one, with respect to the addition operation, that group has N elements. But if you are talking about order of Zp star, then this has how many elements? This has P minus one number of elements. You also know, the groups of uh, cube roots of unity. So what is group of cube roots of unity? It is one omega and omega square. This group was a group with respect to multiplication. And you also know the group of fourth roots of unity, which is one minus one i minus i. And this is also a group with respect to with respect to our usual complex multiplication. OK, the how to show that this is a group and how to show that this is a group. This is already uh, it covered in some of the videos before uh, so the order of this group is three because the elements are three and order of this group is how much the order of this group is four this is how you find the order of the group now we will uh, go go inside the group now let us go towards the elements so i have a group and i will draw the picture here so suppose this is a group with the operation star and uh, the element identity is always present in the group so i will go to some other elements let me say a b c and dot 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 r so this is a group with elements a b c and so on okay and now we will do what the idea is that i will take element a suppose a is a is not identity for the time being let me not take a equal to identity so what I will do is I will multiply A with A itself. Okay. Then I will get some element. This element is an element in the group itself because it's a group. So close, it's close with respect to the operation star. So A star A will not be somebody which is outside the group. Right. So then you get alpha. Then you again multiply A with A with A. And you can take A star A star A. And then that comes out to be some, suppose, suppose some other element beta. And I will go on doing this process to the stage that a stage will come when a star a star a will come out to be what will come out to be 
identities okay a stage has to come that some power of a so this this i will denote by what i will just denote this by a square remember a square means what a star a a square does not mean a multiplied by a because if it is addition operation then a square will be a plus a so a square is actually 2a if the operation star is multiplication operation then a square is what a square is a star a which is a multiplied by a and that is actually our original multiplication a square so what is this symbol now so this means that a raised to n is equal to what a raised to n is equal to identity when you get the first time such a thing that a raised to some power is identity that that power that power this n that power is called the order of that element okay now suppose i'm working in a group where uh, i'm taking an element a and uh, then i have calculate a square then i calculate a cube and then i calculate a raised to 5 a raised to 6 i go on calculating suppose till the 10th uh, power and so on okay and what i noticed is that a cube is also identity and a raised to 6 is also coming identity okay so now uh, you are getting a cube and the third power is also identity the sixth power is also identity then who should be the order of this element a so I will look at what I will look at the smallest power. So who is the smallest power? The smallest power is three. Rather, I mean to say the first time. What is the stage that you get first time a raised to k equal to identity? That k will become the order of the group. Six won't become the order of the group. Okay. Uh, now let me simply define what is the order of the group. Now here, if you now realize, uh, uh, if what will happen if a is equal to what will happen if a is equal to identity in that case i'm going to say that a is to one itself is identity so that will mean that order of that element a will be how much will be one okay so which is an element whose uh, order is one in a group there is only one element whose whose, whose order is uh, one in the group that element is which element that element is identity because order of a is one means a is to one has to be identity this means a has to be how much this means a has to be an identity element now let us define uh, what is the order of element so what is the definition order of element let a belong to the group g star with respect to star then the smallest positive integer smallest positive integer n such that a raised to n equal to identity is called order of element right so and it is denoted by what and it is denoted by a order of a is equal to how much order of a is equal to n okay so this will be the order of that particular element let us take one simple example so that the logic will be clear to you so let's take the simplest group that we know is uh, suppose i am taking i'm taking the group z5 with respect to addition modulo 5 now what are the elements of this group z5 the elements are 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar and 4 bar right what is the identity of this group and we know that the identity of this group is 0 bar so what is the order of identity order of identity means order of zero bar we know that order of identity element is how much the order of identity element is always one because e raised to one will always be equal to e so order of ident order of zero bar is how much is one bar one now let us calculate what is the order of one bar so one bar is an element and if you see carefully one bar star one bar one bar star one bar means one bar plus one bar okay one bar plus one bar is two bar right then one bar star one bar star one bar means one bar plus one bar plus one bar which is three bar and so on if i go i will understand that one bar five times if i do i will get what i will get five bar and then that will be how much that five bar will become zero bar which is identity so this means that one bar raised to five this would mean one bar raised to five what is meaning of one bar raised to five one bar star one bar star one bar but star is what what is star star is addition so one bar raised to five means 
which is five bar, which is zero bar. And this means that order of one bar is how much? Order of one bar is five. Similarly, now look for what is order of two bar. If you add two bars, if you do two bar star two bar, you'll get two bar plus two bar, but two bar plus two bar is four bar. So if you do two bar star two bar star two bar, you will get six bar, but six bar is one bar because in Z5, six bar is one bar and so on. If I do, I will have to go till two bar five times will become how much two bar five times will become 10 bar and 10 bar becomes zero bar. This means that two bar order of two bar is all two bar is to five bar is zero bar. And therefore, what is order of two bar? The order of two bar is how much five. And uh, similarly, if you go for three bar, OK, three bar also, you will see that three bar plus three bar plus three bar. If you go on doing that, you will need five times three bar is equal to how much will give you 15 bar and 15 bar will become zero bar. So this means that order of three bar is also how much five order of four bar is also five. So in this particular example, what we have discussed is Z5 with respect to addition modulo five. We have what are the observations? Our first observation is that order of the group itself is five. Why the order of the group is five? Because Z5 has five elements. And uh, secondly, the order of all elements, all elements have order, all elements have order five. OK, this does not mean that in a group, the element of order, the, the order of element and order of group are always same. It is not necessary. Here it is just by fluke. We got that all elements also have order five. And the group also has order five. One except identity zero. Bar. OK.